So the fourth secret is the graph board node. Again, it's a single node uh, in and of itself. Uh, we think it's really useful. It's a real visualization gold mine, and we think most people probably don't pay as much attention to it as they should. So people who use Modeler may well be familiar with standard plots and charts that you get along the bottom here, distribution charts, histograms, um, uh, plots, etc., etc. But not many pay a lot of attention to the graph board uh, procedure. If I connect the graph board procedure up here, one of the things that makes it really useful is that it recommends charts to you. So if I click in here, you can see I've got some data here to work with. If I click on a single field, it says, well, a single continuous field like that, you can have a histogram or dot plot. If I check another field, it says, okay, you can have suddenly lots of different options. You can have area plots, you can have ribbon plots, you can have uh, uh, bin scatter plots. If I keep on selecting these continuous fields, you then get down to parallel plots or, or scatter, plot, scatter plot matrices, um, which is quite a nice way to visualize and show lots of different charts together um, uh, in, in one place. So it's a bit like a correlation matrix. Not many people tend to use it very often. So here we have the relationship between things like engine displacement and, uh, and, and horsepower or vehicle weight here and horsepower or uh, not a strong relationship as you can see here between uh, time to accelerate and vehicle weight etc etc so it's quite a useful way so there's a whole bunch of different charts in there that people really don't pay a lot of attention to i mean if we just show you a bunch of other ones here that we've got we've got things like you know some nice uh, clustered box plots here showing the relationship between miles per gallon over uh, each year of a car's uh, manufacture broken down by whether or not it's american european or japanese in origin um similar sort of thing here we've got uh, we've got a, a, a heat map, very useful for when you've got lots of category uh, categories in a in a categorical field, and you want to show the relationship between two categories and categorical field and fill them with, let's say, the mean value of a continuous field. Here it is horsepower. The highest horsepower is American cars in 1970 versus you know European cars in 1982, where the horsepower on average is about 63. Um, and so on and so on. So we use lots and lots of different charts. Here we have, for example, a, a panelled uh, bubble chart here, miles per gallon. It represents the bubble sizes, but it's actually the relationship between engine and horsepower, again, broken down by three different regions. And even things like three-dimensional charts, um, where we can see the relationship here between uh, weight and MPG. It's very easy to just interact with it and zoom into it. And we can even animate it here. We've got an animated chart where we can say, okay, well, let's show me how cars are getting lighter and uh, are more fuel efficient over time. We can step through the animation or we can just have it cycle through it very quickly for us as it shows us cars getting lighter and more fuel efficient over time.